Hey everyone, welcome to Suburban Sill. Today we're gonna do a fun plant unboxing. I just recently um, placed an order for some plants on Etsy and I really didn't need any new plants. I don't, I don't know if you can see what I have going on behind me, but I don't really need any new plants. However, um, there was this one that I was really interested in trying and I mean, I didn't order just one, so I ended up ordering three. And I'm really excited for um, these new plants to add to my collection and just see how they handle my living space. So let's get to it. Ugh. Okay, I don't really know what's a good end here. Here we go. All right, oh, these are packaged really nice. Let's just pull them out. I mean, I'm gonna make a mess anyway, right? So let's start with this one. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So this looks like my um, Rainbow Ginny Peperomia. Let's see if we can get a good little shot there. It's got these beautiful pink margins. This is actually real, way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. This is awesome. I like Peperomias. I don't have a bunch. Um, let's see, I have this, um, obtuse folia that I have in my collection and I really like the peperomias. They are, um, oh, excuse me. They are just really cool. They kind of have these like succulent type leaves. So you can kind of let them dry out in between watering. Oh, that one's got a little damage on it. That's okay, it came from far, far away. But this will have some lovely pink margins on the edge. And um, this is really cool. This is way bigger than I thought. I was thinking I was getting something really little. So I'm pleasantly surprised with this beautiful peperomia. So I will pot this up in probably regular potting soil. I might put in some additional perlite for drainage and um, some indirect, bright indirect light. And she should be good to go. So hopefully she'll transition well into my environment. Let's go with this next one. Okay, so this is my silver dollar vine cutting. Um, this is actually what brought me online shopping in the first place. I am like really into these round leaves. Just look how perfect they look. They just look just lovely. Um, this is uh, kind of like a succulent. It's a vining plant, so you'll want to use some succulent soil, well-draining, fast-drying soil. Um, I might put a little bamboo stick with it or something. And you only need to water this one when dry. These little leaves can store water. So this is gonna be fun. I really am excited to try this one. And these cuttings are fantastic. They really are. They're big and plump and in really good condition. So I'm gonna get this potted up you know, as soon as I can. And I'm really excited to see how this one does. How awesome. 
silver dollar vine plant. Um, I should mention on that one, it's gonna like bright indirect light, um, just like a succulent, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so then I know what the last one is. Oh. And I'm really excited about this one too. I mean, I'm excited about all of them, but this is one that I was gonna order back in the fall when I did the um, my Amazon haul, and I did it because um, I thought it was kind of expensive and I wasn't real sure about the cutting size and everything, but I'm super pleased with this order, so um, I'd probably order from them again. And I will put a link to the Etsy store to which I got these from in the bottom so you can check out all their offerings. They have succulents and houseplants. Wow. So this is Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. Oh my gosh, I do not have room. I do not have room for this thing. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. I thought I was getting just a little cutting. So I'm gonna have to make some room for this beautiful Hoya Crimson Princess. Look at this thing. So I am getting into Hoyas a little bit more. Um, this one is gonna want some bright light and it's going to dry out a little bit in between waterings. And let me show you. So this is gonna have some pink tinges. You can see kind of in this um, stem here and see if I can't show you. Here's some of the, the variegation right there. Um, and you can see these pretty pink stems. Hopefully I'm doing it justice here. But this is so cool. I'm not even prepared. I don't have a big enough pot. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do to accommodate these awesome new plants. So, see the beautiful variegation? Yeah, digging it, loving it. So I have the Hoya Crimson Princess or Crimson Queen. Um, that is just a monster. And this beautiful silver dollar vine. Um, succulent plant and this rainbow Jenny I kind of went on a little pink we're on a little pink streak there with with this one too so I don't know we're just gonna have to see see what happens so thank you for checking out this quick um, but super fun unboxing I love getting plants in the mail um, and uh, if you like unboxings, check out my Amazon haul from the fall. That was also a really fun one. And thanks for stopping by Suburban Sill. Again, I know you have a lot of options for plant content, so I appreciate you giving me a chance. And uh, check out my website for more plant information, care tips, rescues, just other plant information. And um, subscribe to my channel as I've got some other fun videos coming up yet this summer. And uh, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day.